a cloudy and cold Monday. A few flurries and snow showers keeping a very wintry feel and look to the air out there. But the flurries are pretty light, putting down a light dusting in a few locations. You can see right now a lot of this is starting to fall apart. We have a few, few areas from Salina to Wapakoneta with a few bursts of snow showers. And those extend over, as you can see, in parts of Logan County as well. So this system is fizzling overall. And really, we're just to be left with a few flurries and possibly a slick spot or two as we go throughout the course of the evening. This clipper system it came down from actually Alberta, Canada, drove its way from the northern Plains states. Now down, as you can see, into the parts of the Ohio and Tennessee Valley and pretty well fizzled, as you can see, over the last several hours to leaving us with just a few flurries. But temperatures... It's still cold, but it is improvement from where we have been. We made it back to the 20s from the teens yesterday. We're at 20 in Lima, 20 in Cairo right now, 20 Columbus Grove. We have 21 in Bluffton and as, as well as Wapakoneta. So those temperatures are still on the chilly side. Our official high today coming in at 21 degrees. That's still well below the normal, which would be mid-30s. The records today, that was negative 6 at back in 1983. And the record high not too long ago in 64 degrees in 2016. So let's look at our forecast this evening. We have those thick clouds around, a few flurries in the air as well. Those will gradually taper off, but the concern is later tonight. Not all the models are on board, but we want to mention the possibility that there could be some patchy freezing fog. So at temperatures, as you can see, well down into the teens, any fog that would form could produce a very light icy layer on some of your, uh, maybe your windshield. If your car is parked outside, as it's some of the roadways could have a few slick spots early tomorrow. So just want to give you a heads up there. If we do get the fog to form, it shouldn't stick around too long tomorrow. That should move out by mid-morning, and then we'll start to see a few peaks of sun in the afternoon, but mostly cloudy tomorrow, but noticeably warmer. We're up about another 10 degrees from today, so 30 are high on Tuesday, and winds fairly light out of the southwest. So maybe you're thinking about maybe when you can get your car washed if you've been driving around the last few days. We've had, of course, all that salt and grime on the roadways. Well, we've got some good uh, car wash weather coming up by Wednesday. That's the day where we go above freezing. We enjoy some sunshine as well. We'll keep the dry weather Thursday before an active weather pattern begins to develop here across uh, west central Ohio. So you can see Wednesday, that's really the pick of the week because we'll have sunshine to go with temperatures finally above the freezing mark for us. Looking ahead into our Thursday, the clouds will build, but temperatures close to 50. And then by Friday, we say hello to some rain showers. So hopefully you have an umbrella handy because I do think we're gonna have several days here from Friday through the weekend with rain. But hey, we've got temperatures at 50 on Thursday, at near 50 all the way through the weekend. And as we ring in 2023, it stays warmer than average heading into next week.